In this video, we'll find the number of protons, neutrons, electrons, and the mass number for Ag, that's silver. So for silver, there are two isotopes right here, these two major isotopes. We'll talk about isotopes later. The only thing that's different between isotopes of an element like silver, the number of neutrons. Because of that, the mass number two. Everything else is gonna be the same. So let's first find the atomic number here for Ag, for silver. This is the atomic number on the periodic table. So 47, that's the atomic number. And that's the identity of silver. So it doesn't matter which isotope you have. If you have silver, atomic number is 47. The atomic number, by definition, is the number of protons. So silver, 47 protons. We'll skip the neutrons for now, go back to that in a moment. For electrons, on the periodic table, all of the elements are neutral. They don't have a negative or a positive sign after them. They're neutral. That means the number of protons are the same. That's the same as the number of electrons. That makes sense. Same number of positive charges as negative charges. They will give you a neutral compound. So number of protons and electrons are the same. So 47 electrons. So let's talk about the neutrons here. We have these two isotopes for silver. Silver 107 and 109. 107, this number right here, that's the mass number, 107. So this is 109. Often when you're given these tables, you're given either a mass number or a number of neutrons to figure that out. Sometimes you're given this notation. So we have 107. The mass number equals the protons plus the neutrons. So 47 plus something gives us 107. 47 plus 60, that adds up to 107. So the number of neutrons in silver 107 is 60. You could also take the mass number and subtract the number of protons to find neutrons. 109 minus 47, that would give you 62. Either way, you'll get the same answer. When we look at these mass numbers, if you looked at a sample, a block of silver, about 52% of the atoms, they would have a mass number of this 107. About 48% would be a mass number of 109. So when you average this together, that's why you end up with 107.87. It's a weighted average of these different isotopes of silver. This is Dr. B with the number of protons, neutrons, electrons, and the mass for Ag, silver. Thanks for watching.